Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 30th of July 1619, the oldest continuous elected legislative assembly in the New World, the House of Burgesses in Virginia, convened for the first time. The Virginia Company of London established Jamestown as the first permanent English settlement in the Americas in 1607. After a difficult first decade, the community's fortunes began to improve, and in 1619, the new governor of Virginia, Sir George Yardley, convened the first representative assembly. Following instructions from the company, 22 burgesses were elected by Jamestown and the other Virginian settlements. They would form the new unicameral General Assembly, alongside a six-member Council of State and the Governor himself. Although voting rights were initially restricted to men of English origin, a strike by Polish artisans led to all free white men securing equal voting rights. The General Assembly, known at the time as the House of Burgesses, met to establish one equal and uniform government over all Virginia, by establishing just laws for the happy guiding and governing of the people there inhabiting. Nevertheless, the governor had the right to veto any decisions, as the company still wielded ultimate control. The first session of the General Assembly met from the 30th of July to the 4th of August 1619, seated in the choir of the church. All the elected men had to swear an oath of supremacy to King James I, and chose John Pory, secretary to George Lyardley, to be the speaker. After reviewing and approving orders sent by the company, the assembly began to discuss and pass their own legislation that included how to deal with idleness, gambling, drunkenness, and relations with the local Powhatan people.